Good morning, you guys. I'm uh, Dr. Michael Freud from Comprehensive Care in Northwest Indiana. I'm an osteopathic practitioner who does nothing but uh, uh, injury care. We take care of um, workman's injury, private injury, take care of municipalities and uh, state agencies and federal agencies and all kinds of nice folks who come to us with issue. I had a um, uh, one of the company owners of a large construction company asked me to see his mother who had he had tripped in her own home and had taken a fall and she had just been placed into a rehabilitative institute locally. And she had had, she had gone through a number of physicians inclusive of um, orthopods, neurologists, Dr. rehab, David, did you say extension 100? Dr. David, 100? rehab physicians, and she had had, uh, she had had bone scans, she had had, MRI, she had had MRI, she had had CT, the pelvis. She was left with inability to stand and weight bear. Uh, especially right side, and had pain into the buttocks region and into her pelvis. I went to see her at the at the Rehabilitative Institute and I recognized that she had torsed her. With the trip she had torsed her pelvis and had an anterior ilium uh, on the right side and it was something that hadn't been addressed yet and it didn't demonstrate anything by bone scan and it didn't demonstrate anything by uh, any type of muscle breakdown and she wasn't bruised and wasn't swollen but just had a, this joint asymmetry that was not allowing her to weight bear and I gave her some exercises uh, come on in hi Tina hi how are you what you got I'm sorry it's okay. Okay. and I gave her some exercises I gave her some exercises to do to help I'll start back in a second get out of it. thank you and I gave her some exercises to start doing uh, to, to help relocate her the her pelvis and, and get some more symmetry to her to the pelvis itself and and she had some difficulty with the inflammation throughout the joints in that area I suggested um, uh, a device that I was introduced to called a QRS system and I told her that there, she could have recurrent injection into the site and facet injection or guided injection to help diminish some of her inflammation she wasn't interested in anything like that. She had been poked and prodded enough with nobody telling her or even guiding her towards the correct outcome. But she was thrilled to find out that I thought it was something that was just as simple as a, uh, as a, as a joint asymmetry. But being that she was 83 years of age, she lived on her own. She didn't have too much assistance and she was sort of concerned about her ability to get around her own house. So I gave her a QRS system that I had been provided with and I had her sit on the uh, on the intensified pad on a daily basis and she told me that she sat on it throughout the day she had her own only pain relief while sitting on the QRS system within less than a month's time two to three weeks maybe she was up and around walking and she didn't want to give me back the system she she appreciated it so much that she asked me if she could keep it even beyond her ability to stand because she still had a little bit of an ache she kept it she brought in a lovely gift for me when she returned it and she said I don't know what it does but it helped diminish the pain where she now was able to get into her own little pool that she her son had provided her with um, that she was using on a daily basis before her trip and fall and she never thought that she'd be able to climb in and out of it again under her own strength she's back to doing everything she's doing she's gonna be 84 years of age and she knows that she can come to me should she require any further help but I gotta tell you the QRS gave her a non-invasive beautiful outcome and she couldn't have been more thrilled and I, I can't tell you I can't be more thrilled with the outcome I just can't wait for the for somebody to maybe give these things a stamp of approval so that we'll have a further ability to use them for our patient care right now I I provide it to those who I feel need it and I don't charge but, uh, but I think it's a, a wonderful device that I'm going to continue using in my practice and uh, I can't recommend it enough. Uh, QRS device, I'm happy to have, I'm happy to have found it and uh, I'm going to keep on using it for whoever can require its care and its help, its help, its benefit. How about its benefit? Yay! Okay. So that's it. That was uh, that was my 83 year old. But I continue to have the cases that give us our greatest uh, our greatest challenge. I continue to try to use the device on them. So I'm gonna I will not stop doing so. We're gonna keep on finding ways in order to improve patient outcome, despite whether we can bill for it or not. How about that?